hey welcome to this video uh, yeah many of you sh uh, saw the German version and told me to please do an English one so here we are what we are going to do now is um, in Streamlabs OBS if you have multiple scenes and don't want to to click through them or use hotkeys uh, we built a program a, t a simple tool that allows you to switch between the scenes comple completely automatic like if you open a program um, the scene will switch to that program. So, um, for example, I got here a basic, a basic scene that just has a text. I got uh, the calculator. That's uh, just a Windows calculator. I got the League of Legends client and I got League of Legends in-game, which is not currently running. Uh, it doesn't have to be League. It doesn't matter which, which program or game you use. Um, yeah, what you need for now is just Streamlabs OBS and multiple scenes. If you got that one, you go to our website, uh, link is in the description obviously, and download the latest version of our, of our scene switcher. That's currently 0002. Alright, if you got this, you extract it. and start Streamlabs OBS Scene Switcher. Um, Streamlabs has to be open when you start it, otherwise you will get an error message. Yeah. Um, most of you will get this warning. We can't really do anything about it. It's just protection from, from Windows. Um, if more users will use it, we will eventually get whitelisted. But as of right now, we don't have any connections to Microsoft and can't do anything about it, so just Start anyways. So it looks like that. Now we want to add our scenes to this tool. So I click on Add Scene Rule. And I start with Leak Client. So, and with that, uh, you need to select a process. That's just Windows processes. You see a lot of Chrome and whatever. I search for leak. And it's leak client. And now we, we need to connect it to an existing scene. And obviously we choose leak client. Save. And we do this with all the scenes uh, we have here. Leak in-game. And now we need to start the game to add the scene. So now the game is running on my second screen, as you can see here. And we can search for the process name. The, uh, there we go. Um, sometimes if it doesn't don't find it, just um, restart the scene switcher and then it should be there. Again, it doesn't matter if it's League of Legends or if it's Fortnite or if it's Microsoft Word. I don't care. <laughs> it works with everything. It should be working with everything. Uh, you can also uh, need uh, choose to toggle this needs focus button if you just want to trigger the scene switcher with focused programs. And yeah, then the scene and its client and we save it. Then we do it for the next one, that was a calculator. And we need to start a calculator. Ah oh, yeah, there we, there we got it. So we don't find the calculator. Um, a simple, simple restart of the program should be fixed this. There we go. So my last scene, the basic scene, doesn't have any process that should trigger it. It's just uh, the fallback if nothing else is running. So nothing to put in here. And it's basic and safe. What we have to do now is prior prioritize these. That's just a, such a hard word, word for me to speak. Um, yeah. The higher here on the list, the higher it is, it is prioritized. 
So obviously the most important is in-game. If you are in-game, if the game starts, that's the one you want to see in your stream. If the game is closed, it should fall back to the client. And if the client is closed, we go back to the calculator. It could be everything, it's just an example. And if the calculator is closed, we fall back to basic. So this should be fine right now. And yeah, then we can start it. And you can also use start, auto start switching. So it will uh, work um, as soon as you start the scene switcher. You can always stop it if you want to change something while you're on your stream. Yep, now we start it and go into the game and we close it. And if you close it, it should be go to the client. Right, did that for me? Yeah. Bam, we are on the client. Now we close the client. It switched to the calculator, but it doesn't show it because it was minimized. We close the calculator and it goes to the basic scene. We, we uh, restart the calculator and bam. It goes to the calculator. Perfectly working. Yeah, that's it. It's just that simple. Um, yeah, one thing I have to say, many DJs contacted us and wanted a scene switcher that doesn't work with a process name, but simply by, by a timer. So every three minutes or so, the scene is switching. We have something like this, but it's not ready yet. Uh, if you want to, to try it, we have an alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it version. Just write a comment below and we will give, provide you a link. Um, but it's just not ready for release yet. So if you want something like that, just hit the subscribe button, write us a message and assume if we have something, uh, we will let you know. I, I can't talk anymore. It's so hard to speak English for me. So anyways, we are done here. If you have any, any questions, just Leave a comment below, uh, smash that like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more from me and thanks for watching. Have a good, have a great day. Bye.